good as an idea in camp so far. It's been nearly three weeks. How's uh, Gonzo in particular looking for you guys? Uh, Gonzo's looking well. He's looking good. Just trying to make sure these guys get out the camp legs and things and such like that and get freshened up for the season opener. Trick was saying he's splitting time at both safety and corner with you guys. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, he was posing with all you guys in the corner room. So. Mm -hmm. How much is he still working with you guys at corner and uh, what he offers to you there? Uh, Coach Lanning is big on uh, cross-training guys, getting guys to play multiple positions. So we're going to continue that trend with all the guys, working them at different spots, whether it be star, safety, boundary, post safety in the middle of the field, or, or at corner. What, what allows him to be someone who can do that in particular? Triquest. Excuse me? What allows TriQuest to be someone who can do a little bit of cross-training? Um, well, most, most of those guys can all do it. Want, uh, you, we recruit guys to be defensive backs, not just necessarily a corner or a safety or a star. So all those guys have the qualities to be able to do that. And, and that can carry over even in a game? They could play maybe one series at one spot and another? Yes, sir. That's why we cross-train them, just for that situation. How has Gonzo done in, in terms of a leadership role coming in? Kind of a, a veteran guy, but with a young, uh, a young group of guys. Uh, big time, um, because they've seen the success that he's had, and we've been able to go back and reach back in the vault in the bank and show the unsuccessful times that he's had. So it's, it's been easy to show the young guys, like, look, hard work, dedication, and technique will set you free. Is he is he also cross training, or is he one of the guys who's kind of exclusively? Well, sport? Gonzo, he he knows his defense from other positions. We've been main, primarily keeping him out at corner, but he gets reps in some of our drills and things and such like that at the star and stuff like that. Whether Dante Manning ends up being a starter for you, Demetrius, or just mm -hmm. rotational, mm -hmm. he was obviously he played quite a bit last year, mm -hmm. but he was behind Quez, he was behind those guys. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be taking more reps this year, whether he's a starter or not. Definitely. What have you seen to where to make you feel confident that he can take on that bigger role and bigger workload, regardless if it's starting or not? It's a bigger workload. Yeah, his his confidence. Dante Manning has a great level of confidence in his athleticism. He's played some, like you just mentioned, as far as experience and things and such like that. All those things are going to carry for forward for us really big, especially being with a younger group. Who's next on that outside group, Demetrius? Because all right, you have Gonzo, Dante, Quez. But everyone else is young, and yeah. I know outside, the further away from the ball, the sooner you can play, theoretically. Yeah. But Dan was saying on Saturday he wasn't sure if anybody has taken you know, that next guy role. So and, who is that next guy? And I would agree with that sentiment exactly. It's just the simple fact that we have a, we have a, good, we have a good mixture to pick from with those young guys. We got uh, Darren Barkins. You got uh, Jaleel Florence. You got Jaleel Tucker. You got Kamari Terrell. You got a lot of guys there that, you know, it's just – force feeding them the information so they can let their athleticism show up. You mentioned Kamari and Terrell. How have some of those freshmen like been able to adjust to this new like this new offense or new defense and getting adjusted to college football life? Well they have been going through the hard knocks. You know, it's hard knock living especially out there in the secondary. We're responsible for a lot of checks and balances of, of the defense and for a young guy coming in from high school it, it's challenging. And they're doing an awesome job. They just need more reps and more time and they're gonna be all right. You mentioned what are you, those four guys all competing. Would you like one of them to elevate themselves and become kind of that clear cut fourth guy or for sure. For sure, any anyone, whoever chooses, they want to be that guy. Let's go get it. What, yeah. What is it going to take to convince you that one of those guys is that guy? Well, I guess that, that's all about timing, timing, and right place, right time, and all that type of stuff. When those guys, when that number is called, and who shows up, they've all they've all had their negatives and they've all had their positives, both in practices and uh, scrimmages. So we, we're just going to keep pushing. Pushing. Julio Florence is able to unroll early. How much mm -hmm. of an advantage do you think that's been for him? Huge. Kind of getting there in the early. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge for a guy that came in early because it's all review for him now, and it's much needed review. Those 15 practices in spring are almost like a, a full season in this in this defensive scheme. So now that he's coming back, everything is kind of slowing down to him, and and it helps on the leadership aspect too because he's able his classmates to show like, hey man, this is this is what this is what you have to expect, you know. You know, when freshmen come in, they usually start at one position. You want to get them antiquated, you know, mm -hmm. situated one spot. Mm -hmm. For Tucker and Terrell, are they at the boundary, the field? Which which one are they? Uh, Terrell's kind of he's kind of one doing the most of the, the dual training. So mm -hmm. he's he's getting a lot of both Justin in. Flo, you know what I'm saying? Side. Being that guy, and the rest of them are too, but mostly you know just um, out there at the corner. Mm -hmm. And where's Avante Dickerson fitting in at this point? Very, he's right there too. That's one of the names I, I forgot to mention, but he's definitely in the mix too, right there with Barkins and the rest of those guys. The athletic traits from both Jaleel's and Kamari stand out when you look at what they ran 100 and all that yeah, stuff come yeah. in. Has that translated and, and maybe what else other than the athleticism has come across? Early? Well, yeah, their length. 
Uh, those guys have great length, along with what you mentioned with the speed, and then they got toughness. All, all those guys got an uncanny knack to go put their face on the ball, so you got you got to like that. How much do you ascribe to, question. to that idea, Demetrius, that like I was talking about, you know, the further away you are, you, know, you can play mm -hmm. earlier. It kind of holds true for corners, but you know, with, with the schedule that you guys have, particularly in September, yeah, how how confident are you in those young guys that whether it's week one, week three, yeah. week four in particular, uh -huh. that you could throw any of them out there for you know, more than two or three reps? In well, if it, if, if it all just mattered upon athleticism, I would be all in on any one of those guys. But when it comes to knowing the, the ins and outs of the defense and the scheme, then that, that, that's where the difference comes in. So it just it, they determine their wealth on, in, on that part.